Welcome to the Source Audio e-commerce features overview. Today we're going to go through the sign-up process, the settings, assigning profiles, subscriptions, and coupons. So first of all, make sure you're logged in as an admin. Head to the admin panel in the e-commerce setup page. Here you can see that the price is $19.99 monthly plus a 2% transaction fee. Go ahead and sign up. You'll see that the amount is prorated until your next bill, so you're not going to overpay for anything. Go ahead and subscribe. And we're good. Page will reload and we'll be good. Enabled. All right, so here's our settings. So this determines who can see the new e-commerce options. We're going to turn it off for everyone and keep it on for admins, which is us, so that we can test it without any of the clients seeing any of the changes we make. That way they don't interact with a half-finished system if we're still messing with our profiles. Here you can turn on subscriptions and coupons. We'll come back to this later. And here we have bypass single choices. Uh, I'll come back to this later, but it's very important for 99 cent downloads. Here you have the invoice information. It's just company name and address. That's going to go on your invoice and legal agreement for your licensees. And finally, the most important part, we have your payment processor. This is who actually charges the cards of your clients when they license your music. We work with Braintree and PayPal to do this. Uh, you're probably more familiar with PayPal, but Braintree is a slightly more professional service, and it's the only one that handles subscriptions if that is something that you need. So we're going to go ahead and do Braintree. I have copied over my sandbox developer account information, which means that none of these transactions are real, and I use fake credit cards. You can do this also, um, and I'll do another video to describe how to get those accounts. So here's your currency. We support all major currencies. Uh, we're going to keep it to just USD for simplicity. Go ahead and save changes. All right. Let's learn about our profiles. So your profile is the collection of choices your users need to make when they license a new track. For example, here's a complicated example of a rate card. So you can see all these options add up to this. So this is what will happen when your, when your users click to license something. They'll have these options. Let's say they're going to do a broadcast commercial. Continue. All TV. And then they want worldwide. And now they can have their price. So you can have these different sections, and users can easily find the rate that they need. So this is a little bit complicated. Let's make a much simpler rate card. Here we have our one option, example license. Let's change that into just two things, long song, well, we'll do long spot. I'll make a new one, and short spot. I'll make that one 59. So now if we hit preview, these are our two options. Each one immediately goes to add to the cart. You can also add descriptions here if you need to be more specific about what the license means. Now let's say we want to add two more options. We could add two more on this level, or we can make them sub-options of the parents. So this long spot, we'll make one below that called longest spot. Call that one $99. Another one called sort of long, which is, let's say, $79. And under short, we can add two sections. It'll be shortest spot. It's 12 bucks. And sort of short, which is 22. So now if you click preview, you first have this selection between long, long spot and short spot, and then you get those other options below. So you can see how this can add up to much larger and complicated rate cards. A lot of you might not need rate cards. You might just want to do royalty-free or paid downloads. So for that, you can do just one pricing option. It says royalty-free, and uh, if you preview it, we'll just have the one option, show the price, and add to cart. This is also related to that setting we saw before, where, let's save this one for us, where we do Bypass single choices. That means if there's only one choice for the license, you won't see that pop up and it'll go directly to your cart. So we'll demo that later. So now we've got our profile that we want. We need to do an agreement. So we give you our standard agreement that you can play with. I've replaced Source Audio with your own company name. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Go ahead and save it. And then 
on your profile, you can choose what agreement it uses. So you can have different agreements for different profiles. So why would you have different profiles? You might want a different profile for a premium label, or if you had sound effects mixed in with regular tracks, you might want a different license for that. So how all that works is with profile assignment. You have your site default, which is set to no profile right now. We'll set that to our royalty free. And then you have your labels below. I only have one and it's set to inherit, but I could set it to no profile if I didn't want that label licensable or a other specific profile. We'll just leave it as inherit. Now we're actually all set up. We can test this out. So if we go to a track, reload so we get our new info that we just saved. Your users won't have to do that. Now we have this buy now since it was just a single option. So this is the pop-up. Then let's go make that change in the settings and save it. Before we didn't save it. Always got to save your settings. Now we go back. And there. They don't have to do anything. It just goes right into their cart. So you don't actually have to go to the details page for that either. You can have a column here on this page, and that's determined through how you handle the columns over the entire site, which is in the Edit Site Settings, Lists, and Track Columns. So now that licensing is online, you'll have a new option here, Add to Cart. So go ahead and save that. We come here, and it said to reload, so we'll do that. Here we have Add to Cart. So you can add that, there. And we've got three things. So let's go to our cart. You can see our three items here. You can preview the license if you want to. This will show the description of what you had chosen before. And then uh, your, your final price. If you had coupons or subscriptions, that'll show up here. We'll show you later. And click pay. And then here, remember we're using a test card. So it's just gonna be four followed by a bunch of ones. Um, that link on the page where you set that up actually has a link to all the test cards and how you can test that if you want to get into it, but this is the easy way to do it. Okay, so let's purchase it. Complete. Now this will take us to our dashboard. So we're the user in the system as opposed to the site owner right now. And you can see these are the three tags. If I had licensed any other stuff, that would appear below here. So you can get the download information, you can check out the invoice, which is also emailed to you, and the license for each track. So now that we actually have some licenses sold on our site, we can go check under our setup to see the activity. We can see this transaction. We'll be able to see anyone who had done this. We can see they licensed three tracks. If you click here, you can show those tracks see the amount. If they'd used any credit, you'd also see that here, so you can see when subscriptions are being used, if you have those on. Uh, you can look at the invoice yourself, and you can look at the transaction itself. This is going to open the transaction inside Braintree or PayPal, so that you can refund or void the transaction or whatever you need to do. Uh, you have two export options here. You can export transactions, which will basically be a list of what you see here, which is the actual transaction. You can also export licenses, which will export the tracks that were licensed and show you what they were worth. If you need to distribute royalties to composers or catalog owners or whatever, you can do that. So now let's check out subscriptions. So let's turn that on. We'll turn on coupons too while we're here. We'll save that. We'll get two new options here. So we'll go to subscriptions. So here you have the options do on the subscription page itself. So let's just add in some information here. We'll save these. And now let's add a couple subscription plans. So the plans are actually created inside Braintree. They do all the charging so that you can manage those transactions. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a plan in Braintree and then we're going to add this little bracketed downloads number so that they, so that Source Audio knows how many downloads you want to grant for that subscription. So we'll go ahead and click that link. We're going to end up over here. We're going to have no plans. This is inside your Braintree account. So let's create a plan. So don't worry about plan ID. That'll, that'll take care of itself. 
we'll call this the silver plan. And we'll just say it gives 50 downloads per month. All our subscriptions are per month. So now we want to add that bracketed downloads is 50. And when Source Audio comes back here and looks at this description, it knows how many downloads to grant. So we'll say this is $59. It needs to be billed every one month. That's all we support is one month subscriptions. And now we're done. So now we have the subscription plan. Now we go back to our subscription setup and refresh the page and it will pull in your Braintree plan. So there it is, silver 50 downloads a month and it knows that it will grant 50 downloads and its price. You can also add informational plans. So this will make more sense if we look at the subscription page. Here you can see this plan takes up a block like this and this is our the information we had entered. So let's come back here, let's add an info plan. Maybe we'll, we want to add an option for just browsing the site. So we'll call this paper track. This is where the price goes in the other example. So we'll just say our price, which is 99 cents, not 90. And then as you go. Now the action title, this is referring to this button right here. So we'll say browse, because we're going to link to the explorer. And then just like if you were making links for your tabs up here, you can set your URL here and that's what that plan will do. So let's go back to the subscriptions page and refresh and you can see this new info option. Here's your paper track. And then if you click this, you go to the Explorer. So maybe we don't like having this one on the bottom. We want it on the top. You can go back here and click this little button and it'll send it to the top. And you can use that to reorder your plans. If you have five plans, it doesn't matter. You can order them however you want. And there you go. Um, if you want to have an unlimited plan, you want to put 999959s as your downloads and it'll turn into unlimited. So let's do that. Let me try it out. Let's go back to our plans page, create a new one. We'll call it gold. Say it's unlimited downloads in our description. And then use our code here and say 99999. Let's make this almost $200. Set it for one month and create. Now we come back to the admin and refresh and it should show up. There you go. Now we don't like this order, so we want gold to be on the bottom, silver above that, and then the paper track. So here, now these are ordered right. You can see that this is now unlimited. It picked up that those five nines. Go back to the page and refresh our subscriptions. You can see what it looks like. So there you go. So now let's sign up for a plan. Let's do the silver. Click that, we'll get the same payment window we got from using the shopping cart. And we have our card saved, so we'll just use that. You can see it's $59 a month. Let's buy it. Complete. Now from our dashboard, we can see our subscription. And we can upgrade it here. You'll only be charged the difference. You can see what's left. We haven't used any, so we have 50 left. And you can change the card that's on file for that subscription if your card expires and you get a new card. So let's go now. Let's uh, add some of these guys. And now you can see all of this is free because it's using our download credit and you can see what's remaining. So go ahead and buy it. And there's our three tracks we just bought. They're in here and they'll be located in the activity as well. Let's go check that out. You can see how it shows credit. There, yep. It's bought for three credit and you can see the tracks. Now let's try out coupons. So each coupon is part of a campaign. We'll create a new campaign. We'll call it testing. And then we want to create codes for it. So there's two regular uses for codes. There's the 
the single code, which is you name a code after the event or campaign that you're doing, and then you share that one code with many people, and it can be used, you know, 10,000 times. Or you would have a thousand codes that you're going to mail out. And see here, we can generate these codes. Let's say they all start with test dash. And then after that, it'll generate a number of random characters so that it can contain your codes. And then you can export these codes and use them as part of a mailing list or whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and set that up. And then you can see how these were used. You can download the codes. And that's how coupons work. Thanks for joining us. And be on the lookout for more videos showing how you can sign up for the different payment processors.